we'll see yeah. It must have seemed like a long time coming for Joe McAldry. After losing out to Rage Against the Machine in the battle for the Christmas number one, the X Factor winner finally found his place at the top of the UK singles chart with his track The Climb. But alas, it wasn't to last for long. No, while Joe would have the last number one of 2009, the first of 2010 would go to none other than Lady Gaga. Her latest single, Bad Romance, went straight in there, knocking the former student right back down to number two. And we can't help think this is a case of deja vu. I heard there was a secret call. Last year's X Factor winner Alexandra Burke got to number one with her cover of the Leonard Cohen classic Hallelujah, but was also booted off the top spot by Lady Gaga's first single, Just Dance. Hmm, do we see a pattern forming here? Meanwhile, Gaga's got even more reasons to celebrate. Apart from owning some of the planet's smallest pants, her single Poker Face was the biggest selling song of 2009, shifting over 880,000 copies, while her debut album The Fame has also gone back up to number two. As for the foreseeable future, Lady Gaga's plans for pop world domination seem set to continue. This year, she heads off to the Grammy Awards in the US, where she holds no less than five nominations. And the latest reports are that the pop princess has also been offered a residency at a Las Vegas casino, where we're sure the outfits will be much appreciated. Oh,